And police and public safety officials make it clear that they believe early and then ongoing discussions with the protest organizers helped bring a different result here in Pittsburgh than have been seen in other parts of the country. Pittsburgh police and public safety viewed the handling of the protest here as an opportunity to set an example for the country. Chief Larry Scarato says there were honest brokers on both sides in talks with protest organizers. Communication, communication, and communication. Like how do you not end up like one of these other universities? It's over communicating and ensuring that everybody that has a, uh, has a vested interest in, in the demonstration is heard and, and has a voice at the table. Public Safety Director Lee Schmidt thanked the city and Pitt and others involved for support to handle the situation with discretion and respect for all parties. We are supportive of any peaceful demonstrations, peaceful assembly, um, and all we ask for is communication with us, cooperation, where we can uh, find joint agreement and go from there. The chief says the city did have some conditions it made clear to protest organizers. First and foremost, that there could be no anti-Semitic speech or behavior. Uh, secondly, that there could be no violence or destruction of property. Scarato said there was no intelligence suggesting the need for civil disturbance here, and officers were not outfitted that way. We didn't come looking for a fight, and neither did they. And I think when you have that type of engagement, you can have this type of resolution. And the chief also indicated another condition communicated to protest organizers was that there be no obstruction of traffic in the Oakland area that could have an impact on hospitals nearby. Reporting live at Pittsburgh Police Headquarters, Bob Mayo, Pittsburgh's Action News 4.